Hey guys, what's up? It's Carl here, back with another episode. And you can see over my shoulder, my setup is looking super minimal these days. I'm in the transition of moving to my new office, so a lot of my gear is actually in boxes, and I've been working solely off of a laptop, and I'm kind of reviewing it as well. It's the 17-inch LG Gram. I last saw the Gram earlier this year at CES, and I typically change between that and my MacBook Pro, but the portability of the Gram is what's attracted me to use it right now. I have become such an expert at traveling between both locations, and because I only have one device, I wanted something with a super large display. A 17-inch display is one of the largest form factors for a laptop, but the nice thing about the Gram, we all know it, it's super, super lightweight. It comes in just under three pounds. And that feature alone has been so important to me during this transition between office or studio spaces. I didn't want something to lug me around or weigh me down when it's inside of my pack, and I still wanted to have a large enough display that I could watch all of my content. And lastly, it could still perform good enough to keep up with my YouTube activities. So this video was in fact edited on the gram. I'm not the greatest at Premiere, but it does it totally fine. It's also got Intel Iris Plus graphics, so don't expect to play any of the heavy 3D intensive titles, but you can get by in basic levels of, say, Fortnite. Even StarCraft II, I've managed to muck a couple games without going too crazy. The main focus of the Gram has always been about the portability. When you pair that with the 17 inch display, I think it becomes one of the best devices for media consumption. In my new office, I sadly don't have internet yet, so I do download a couple Netflix shows when I am here, and I can always watch them when I do have a tad bit of downtime. And within this specific setup that I've built here, I wanted to be able to pack everything into one bag in less than 30 seconds so I could pick up and head out. Obviously, we've got the Gram as the main piece. Since it is a 17-inch display, I'm not rocking an external monitor. I do have an option for that. We'll talk about that a bit later if you really do need it. I didn't opt for any speakers because I wanted to keep things minimal. If you are on a budget or you want to go bare bones, rock a standard pair of headphones. You can always connect via Bluetooth. Right now, I am rocking my Bose QC35 Mark IIs. My Sonys are packed away into a box. They are mounted on this headphone stand, which is called the Zero by Uppercase. It kind of fits the theme of the ultra minimalism. I do wish they had it in white. Beside that, I do have my Pixel stand, which charges my smartphone. I've currently been testing and using the Samsung Galaxy S20 Ultra. Sadly, the only splash of orange I have in this setup is my D-Brand Rubik's Cube, and that is it. That is a very bare bones minimal setup. Like I mentioned, I can pack all of that gear with inside my bag in maybe 30 seconds, easily under one minute, and I can have that in my car, and I'm in my new office in the next 20 minutes, and I can set that up all over there. If you really need an external monitor, I have hooked up the gram to this 32 beast. This is the 32UL950, and I actually use this as a camera monitor in the past. That's why it's sticking around in my studio. If I really wanna watch, say, dedicated movie content, or even an important sports game, you can still connect it. Because we're connected by one USB-C cable, we're not only charging the gram, but we do get image over on the display. I wouldn't say that this display is exactly super portable, but if you need to have an external monitor in your setup, you can take everything minus this, keep this guy at home wherever that may be, and you do just end up traveling with the gram. That could be a very viable setup. I do have an external keyboard. I do have the Logitech MX keys, but because the gram is a full-size laptop, it has a numpad on the side, I think using this solely could be the way to go. It's got a lot of give to it and the keys are nicely spaced. I would say that the trackpad could be a tad bit larger, but I think the favorite feature of the Gram has probably been the battery life for me. And LG claims you can get up to 17 hours. I've got around 15-ish on a heavy day, so when I am splitting up my time between here and the new spot, I don't have to always worry about charging it. I've got the pack here that I do store it in. I've got a fully mobile setup now. Let's head to my new studio. I'll show you guys some teasers. Let's do a bit of magic. So here we are in the brand new workspace. Don't mind the mess. I'm still going through renovations. The floor has taken forever to finish. There's just a few delays. So like I mentioned, all of this has just got a fresh coat of paint. So that's looking really nice. The next big delay though has been the floor. We're missing some of the recessor pieces. So we're just a bit delayed on that end, but I'm really loving how the floors come along. The color is great. And I'll give you a little sneak peek 
of the orange wall. But this is the area where I've been using the gram, and you can see that there's no dedicated desk area yet. All of that is still in my old studio. So I'm either sitting on the couch, I'm sitting on my kitchen island, I am sitting here in this little bar stool, kind of just working away. But for that, you do need the portability, and that's where the gram really shines. LG usually has a ton of giveaways over on their social, so I'll leave all info linked down below. Let me know what you think of the 17-inch gram. It's pleasantly surprised me. It hasn't being too big as most people would think a laptop this size is almost unwieldable. Hope you guys enjoyed this setup video and this has been a little sneak peek at some of the renos going on in my new office and I will catch the rest of you in one of my next vids or vlogs. Peace!